Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be upgrading the RAM in the Asus VivoBook 15 X1500EA. This is the i3 edition, which comes with a standard 8GB RAM installed, while the i7 at a higher price comes with 16GB already installed. So what I'm going to be doing here is just showing you, obviously, my laptop is the 8GB, so you know I'm not bluffing. This isn't a lie. This is all true. And I'm going to show you what RAM I also bought, so you guys know where to go in the link below, and get the right RAM for the right laptop. On the back, it's simple. A couple of screws, just take them out. There's no hidden ones under little labels and tabs and stuff. Just undo them all. I always find it easier to pop the back off by using the two USB slots in the side. As it's easier to get your fingers in, just slowly pop it around each corner. Until you get to the back, give it a quick little wiggle. And it should come loose very, very easily without snapping any pins. Once that's off, simply just put that aside. Now, once you're inside the laptop, it's Spaghetti Junction, but don't worry, I'll explain it. The very top part here is the SSD, which is already installed, it's standard. The bottom slot here is for a HDD that you can actually install and make your you know, computer hold more. But the slot we're talking about today is the RAM. It's very simple with this. It's simply take it out, push it into the slot and push it down. That's it. There's no external, you know, welding, soldering, whatever. It's simply push in and play. It's done. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about the HDD. Now, there's a cable out there that no one can ever find because this laptop apparently doesn't exist in the world of components, but I've, I've found one. So don't worry. I'll put a link in the description. I even emailed Asus and they said they couldn't find one, but I did. It's meant to be for a nitro, but it works. Now, I'm just explaining with the screws here. The small ones go in the four slots at the front of the laptop, while the large ones go every everywhere else. It's, it's not rocket science, just take the screws out and put them so you know where they're going, basically. But um, with the cable, all the stuff's in the description. As you can see, it's now 16 gigabytes of RAM. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Thanks again. My name's Callum, and I'll see you all next time.